So in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly make changes to a GitHub repository. Uh, this is going to be useful if you need to move or edit multiple files. And when you need to make changes like this, uh, you have a few options. First, you can make the changes directly in GitHub, but depending upon the changes, this can be pretty time consuming and very tedious. So the second option then would be to make the changes locally, but this can be a bit confusing for someone that isn't comfortable using Git. Uh, luckily, there's a third option. GitHub provides a free online editor and it's really easy to use. So the first thing you wanna do is navigate to the GitHub repo that you're interested in, in making changes to in your browser. And you can see here that I've created a simple repository with just a few files and folders. And so from here, you have a couple of options to open up the online editor. The first way to do it is just to hit the period um, key on your keyboard. So I'm going to do that now. And you can see that this online editor opens up. And you can see all the files over here on the left. Um, the second way of doing it is to simply change the .com to .dev in your browser, hit enter, and basically the same thing, same result. Uh, the final option, and this is the one I prefer, is to hit the shift key, hold down the shift key, and then hit the period key on your keyboard. So if you do that, it's gonna open up the editor in another tab. And this is a little bit easier, I prefer this way. Like I said, just cause you can toggle back and forth between the repo and the editor. Um, so for those of you that use VS Code, this should look very familiar. It's basically VS Code in the browser. Uh, most of the same features are available. You can customize your key bindings, your color themes. If you already use VS Code, then you can even sync all your settings up across all your devices. So for example, if I wanted to come in here and change the color theme, I can use uh, a dark theme here. So, um, Everything's pretty straightforward, especially if you're already familiar with VS Code. Um, one thing I do want to point out is that I notice sometimes when opening this editor that the files over in the navigation pane weren't showing. I'm not sure why that happens, but if that does happen to you, you can come back to the repo and then just select the branch from the drop down list here. And then you can go back and, and open up the editor and that will take care of it. I'm not sure why that happens, but that seems to, to fix it, so. Okay, so let's make some changes. So let's say first I wanna add a new directory called research and then move some files into it. So you can come over here, right click, new folder, created a research directory there. And let's move these two files in, the back end notes and the front end notes. And let's rename notes to um, accessibility notes. So you can come down here, accessibility, I think I spelled that right. Accessibility notes, okay. Um, and then let's say we no longer want this old notes folder. So I'm just gonna delete that. So delete permanently. Okay. So last thing I wanna do here, let's say I wanna update this accessibility notes document. Um, one thing that's pretty nice in this, um, in VS Code and also in this online editor is you can click the, the preview button here for markdown files. And that's just gonna kind of give you um, your preview of what your markdown file would look like. So if I were to you know, make some changes here, these are some accessibility changes. Uh, let's see, observation one. Yeah. You get the idea. So 
it's just kind of a nice way of seeing what it's going to display like as you're typing. So you can save that away. Okay, I think we're all done with the changes. So if I go back to my repo and I hit refresh, notice that nothing has changed. And this is because we haven't committed and pushed our changes yet. So to do that, go back to your online editor and you want to click on the source control icon here on the left. And that's gonna kind of give you an overview of the changes that you made. You can see we deleted some documents, moved some documents. Um, so in order to commit and push these changes, you're first gonna wanna add a message. So made some changes. And then you're gonna wanna click the, the check mark icon up at the top here, which will commit and push your changes. So, the changes are committed and pushed, it looks like. If I come back to the repo, I refresh. You can see that all the changes are here. And um, that's about it. So pretty much covers the basics of using the online editor. There are a lot more features available. I just kind of, you know, um, gave you a quick overview, but there's a lot more that you can do with it. So check it out when you get a chance. And thanks for watching.